All right, so I'm knocking out a quick what's in the bag. Got my TS2 driver, uh, probably about a year old, probably known as the more forgiving of the title as heads, which is great for me. Um, ten and a half degrees aloft, I have it set to C1, so a little flat, a little open, um, minus 0 0.75 degrees aloft. Love that this driver, I can sit flat with it, don't feel like it's going to hook on me. Got the Ventus 6X Black by Fujikura in there, fantastic shaft if you haven't tried it. Um, you know, the black hits a pretty low ball flight, but I'm a little high to begin with, so it's perfect for me. Helps me bring the flight down, keeps the spin rates great. Um, at a dress, you can see it might maybe even sit a little bit open, but I love the look, flat. Um, thing's been amazing. As far as my Gamer 4 wood, right now I've got my R11 from what, who knows how long ago. Uh, it is a cool club though, it did come off the tour van. Um, it wasn't made for me, but Cool tour van clubs, got some hot melt, got a painted shaft, so kind of keeping a secret what's underneath there, but we got the Adia uh, 85 gram X. Have this set a little low, so I think standard 17, I have it at 16 right now, just to kind of fill the gaps, but really fantastic club, just something I'm comfortable with. Been using for a while, nothing modern. Um, at a dress, it just, you know, looks like a really old three or four wooden that's what it is um, so running into longer courses getting older hitting a shorter I got a three wood I use you know when I really got to cover some longer distances or maybe want three wood off the tee might be advantageous for the day um, so I got a low lofted three wood I kind of swap out it's a ping answer with a project X 6.0 which is you know probably between an S and an X but really low profile, great for getting the ball off the ground. A lot of comfort off the tee if I'm going to be teeing off a three wood, but usually I'll probably gravitate to driver. Um, more of my backup tee club would be this hybrid. It's a 913 HD by Titleist. Again, nothing super new or modern, but you know, I've had it for a while, super comfortable. Don't have the hook issues with this hybrid like a lot of people run into. Uh, but have liked this club for a long time, have it set at A1 standard. I guess I've just gotten kind of used to it. If anything, I'd flatten it, probably put it at C1 like my driver. Maybe if I was getting left, it's got really good shaft. It's the Diamond Blue Board from back in the day, 90 gram X. Uh, probably the kind of shaft I'll never get rid of, but great head, great backup tee shot club. It's got the deep face, really low spin, but just something I become comfortable with. Really enjoy this. Uh, the new club, I guess, would be this three iron which has been getting a lot of work because I dropped my four iron out and I really just use this three iron. I guess you could call it a hybrid, but it's the Mizuno Fly High. It's got 19 degrees of loft, so it's really close to my hybrid, but just the different designs, probably different ways I swing at the two clubs, you know, the gap works out even though there's only one degree of loft change. Um, this club's pretty much off the rack though. I didn't change the grip yet, so great club. I don't really feel like I hit it a lot lower than the other hybrid, but just fills the gap and it's easy to hit. Um, can't beat having a three iron that's actually got some forgiveness. Uh, as far as my irons go, I play the Strixon 765 cavity back five through nine iron. Uh, you know, pretty big sole. You know, I really, I played mirror blades for a really long time. Probably switched out to these two years ago. Uh, you'll see the lead tape I have there just to bring the ball flight down so you know putting the lead tape higher on the face can kind of help bring the center of gravity up hit a lower flight uh, shaft i got the napone modus 130x i really like heavy heavy shafts on my irons keeps me from getting quick um, i use tour wrap grips two wraps of tape on everything so that's the grip uh, club sits great though not a ton of offset in th the top line's a little thick compared to the blades but i've gotten used to that um, wedges, Titleist, Vokey wedges, 4650, 5660. Um, this is 56. It's got the 10 degree of bounce with the S. My 60's got 8 degrees of bounce with M. To be honest, I don't even really look at the bounce on my pitching wedge and gap wedge. I think it's, they're both F's with 8 degrees, all with the standard wedge flex shaft. Uh, just great wedges. You know, nothing really groundbreaking every year, but consistent distance, consistent lofts, grinds seem to work great. Um, so no complaints, don't plan on changing wedges anytime soon. 
flat stick, which is getting a lot of practice and actually the, probably the one thing that really has been paying off, just a 2020 Scotty Cameron uh, Special Select Fastback 1.5, played a Newport 2 like a lot of players for the longest time, but you know, just felt a lot of comfort with this, one of those things that just saw it on the internet and picked it up and it just kind of matched my game. So super, super happy with this putter. Um, definitely the practice paid off, but off the rack, no adjustments, no magic weights. and.